and welcome to the eFresh.com Flowers, Plants, and Bulbs News. My name is Kim and these are this week's headlines. DNA system for quick identification. Oregon protects endangered plants. Enriching Botanical Garden, Georgia. Bamboo booming in Australia. USDA opens first rooftop garden. Scots scientists have led the way in developing a system of DNA barcodes for plants that will enable species of all over the world to be identified. Currently, it can be necessary to wait until a plant or tree grows and flowers before it can be identified. However, using this technique, a small piece of a sapling could enable botanists to reveal the species immediately. The research means this tool will now be available to botanists, meaning that scientists will be able to identify plants anywhere in the world even if just a small leaf fragment is available. The technique could be used for testing plants being imported illegally into the UK, to identify poisonous plants, to reveal whether alien species have arrived in the country, or even to determine which plant species is present at a crime scene. The US Fish and Wildlife Service proposed to designate 11,038 acres of land and 25 units in southwestern Oregon as critical habitat for large-flowered woolly meadow foam and Cook's lomatium. Both are federally listed as endangered and native to two small areas. About 73% of the total proposal is private land. The rest is federal, state, county, or municipal ownership. Nearly half of the total, about 5,200 acres, has been designated critical habitat for the vernal pool fairy shrimp since 2003. Selection of the proposed critical habitat units were informed by the priority recovery areas identified in the draft recovery plan for the two plants published in 2006, along with ground survey information, aerial imagery analysis, and mapped locations where the two plants occur. Construction has begun on the State Botanical Garden of Georgia's new $2.5 million horticulture complex, a facility that will support the 313-acre public garden. Shirley Berry, interim director, said that this behind-the-scenes facility is essential to the collections and displays throughout the garden. Moving these facilities to this new location is another step in enriching the visitor's experience and safety in the garden. Construction of the horticulture complex is scheduled to be completed in July 2010. The State Botanical Garden of Georgia is a public educational facility operated under the auspices of the University of Georgia. It is a living laboratory for university students and faculty who utilize the collections and natural plant communities for studies in a variety of disciplines. According to gardening experts, the world's fastest growing plant, bamboo, is a big trend in Australia. Chris Cusack, owner of Bamboo World, says after 20 years in the business, bamboo is finally booming. Cusack said bamboo was once seen as a collector's item, but larger outlets are now getting on board. As well as providing privacy from nosy neighbors, bamboo is used for building furniture, shelter, flooring, and instruments, and all 1,500 varieties in the world can be eaten. The woody shoot is high in potassium and calcium, and according to Chinese medicine, bamboo shavings, leaves, and sap can be used to cure vomiting and fevers. While most are native to China and other parts of Asia, there are three varieties that are restricted to northern Australia, which was used to make didgeridoos. U.S. Agriculture Deputy Secretary Kathleen Merrigan opened a rooftop garden project atop the offices of USDA's Economic Research Service in Washington, D.C. The project is part of USDA's People's Garden Initiative, launched earlier this year, which aims to create a community garden at USDA facilities across the country and worldwide to set an example of environmentally friendly, sustainable landscapes. The overall USDA People's Garden Initiative has multiple goals. The garden at USDA headquarters demonstrates a variety of sustainable garden concepts to a visiting public, such as landscaping to retain water and reduce runoff. In addition to demonstrating environmentally friendly food production, the garden includes former impervious surface that was returned to valuable green space. Thank you for watching the eFresh.com Flowers, Plants and Bulbs News. See you next time.